Welcome, welcome to AutoCAD 3D Lesson 2. Today we are going to draw 3D window and we use the skill we learned in Lesson 1. We are going to start with a 2D drawing. The download link is listed below, so let's get started. First of all, I already opened the 2D window. Basically, this is a sliding window and you can see the glass is 10 mm the frame is 50 and the overall 120 okay before we draw 3d we should create a new layer keeping the 2d stuff and then create the 3d stuff in the 3d layer so that whenever you you want to change something you still can get it from the 2d join so i will first click on the layer button okay layer property and then this is the create new layer button click it and 2d and then you can type comma and then 3d to, to save you the single click time okay and then i will double click the 3d layer so this is the current layer we are going to draw in the 3d layer Okay, and then I will close it all and I will select everything here and select from the layer drop down to the layer. Okay, so all done. First thing to do is isometric wheel. Okay, and zoom in. We are going to use the plus pull command here. So click the plus pull and move inside the rectangle and click and move your mouse up and input 10 for the thickness okay and then we actually can do all these together in one go to do that first click the first one and then there's a multiple option so click multiple and then click okay and then click click okay and space bar and input 10 good Next, we are going to draw the frame. So, press pull again and move between the rectangle. Click here. Remember, don't click on the object, don't click on the line. Whenever you use press pull command, you always click inside the boundary, not on the object. Otherwise, you should use X2 command. Okay, so the thickness is 50 and then the other side so click and 50 okay now space bar to finish then I want to change this glass into transparency so click it them one by one because I don't want to select the 9 behind 2d9 okay and then you should use control 1 oh okay it's here so control one and then you can see transparency here so click and then input 70 maximum is 90 but 70 should be good already okay so you can see it is transparent next if you look at the side view of the joint you can see the glass is in the middle of the frame so now I am going to move the glass to the middle. One way to do it is of course move from the midpoint of the glass to the midpoint of the frame. So move and then click and spacebar and click on the middle point and middle point. Okay. So I think this is kind of clumsy. There's a better way. I undo it first okay the way to do it is first we need to introduce something called move formula so a formula to to show you how to move for example you have two objects one with bigger uh, w as thickness and the other with small w as thickness so what you want to do now is move the small w thickness to the middle of the frame you see just like the glass to the middle of the frame the formula is quite simple 
the big one, the capital letter W minus the small one divided by 2. So all you need to do is remember the big one minus small one and divide by 2. So for example, if the W is 5 cm, small W is 1 cm, 5 minus 1 divided by 2 equal to 2. So that means I need just need to move 20 mm up. And then you can use the command move. First, select the object. When AutoCAD asks you for the base point, you type in 0, 0, 2 for 2 cm. Okay? In this case, it will be 20, of course. Okay? And then enter twice. Remember to enter twice. Then AutoCAD will treat these numbers as the displacement and move it accordingly. So it will move only in the exact direction too. Okay? So let's try. So let's apply the move formula. First, I type the move command. Click 1, 2, 3, 4. Spacebar. And then 0, 0, 20 and space bar twice, one, two. You see, it is there, okay? Yet another way is if you don't want to use the move command, you can also do it this way. So I type U to undo first. And all you need to do is without typing any command, click on all these one by one, okay? And then click on the C axis. So click it, move it up, and input 20, still the calculated number 20 by the move formula okay so that's another way either way you can do okay okay next thing is we are going to draw the window on the other side first maybe you think of doing the first pool again but if you click and check it you see this is not a complete window frame because this is a 2d drawing and it doesn't give you everything in 3D detail, okay? So you should actually copy. So one way to do it is you click and right click, select similar. Select similar means that it will select all the solid object here. These are only solid object, okay? And then CO for copy. Okay, base point will be the lower left corner here, click and then corresponding corner here okay and space bar to finish now they are overlapped but it's okay next i'm going to type the move command space bar and then type p for previous selection set and space bar so p means that you are selecting the things you selected before save you time to select again space bar to finish and then for the height i will just input 0 comma 0 comma 50 for the height right because i'm going to move it up 50. you see this is quite easy for you to use keyboard command together with the number i type in that's why i like to do it this way even better than you clicking on the icon i mean the uh, xyz gizmo okay so and then space bar choice one two that's there good next we are going to press pull again the outer boundary so it should be somewhere here so click and move up this time will be uh, 120 okay 120 and space bar to finish you see this is 10 millimeter here this one distance this is 10 millimeter okay so I need to move everything here 10 millimeter so I will click one of the object and right click select similar okay select everything and then I will hold the control key and click on the outer frame so that means I select everything except the outer frame okay and then I will type the move command 0, 0, 0, 10 
and one two two time remember to press two time otherwise it will not work so now we can see it is in, mi in the middle everything fine now next I'm going to rotate the window vertical to do that I'm going to use 3d rotate command first I select one of the object and right click and select similar so everything selected and then 3d rotate this command work this way once you select the command it asks for the axis you are going to rotate so if I rotate around the blue color axis it will just rotate on the ground if I rotate around the green axis you can see this is not I want it rotate I just click and show you you see this is not I, what I want so instead I press escape instead I click on the red color circle now it become yellow and then I type in 90 for 90 degree so now it is vertical okay let's give it a nice uh, background before that you see there are small dots what are they they actually are definition points for dimension all you need to do is turn it off by click on the layer and then this button layer off select this button okay and then select these object one of the object okay and space bar to finish good next we go to visualize and right click on the gizmo here and change it from parallel parallel projection is for modeling for presentation we use perspective okay and most of the time for architectural presentation we like to have a um, stronger perspective for that you go back to home and click on the view here and change the lens length from 50 to for example 25 normally will be around 20 to 30 so what what that is what's lens length let's google so google is our friend you see i type in lens length i search and then i will go to the picture here okay and then i will click here so you see for human eyes it, it is around 50 millimeter and smaller lumber you can see more okay smaller lump bigger lumber see less if the lens length is too small like 18 the edge of the picture will be distorted that's not good we call that a fish eye lens okay so let's between 20 to 30 so I close it go back here I already changed it to 25 okay and then I will go to visual line and go over to render and then there's a render environment and exposure from here I turn on the environment and I change it to let's see to village and then I will orbit around okay so that's all for this lesson so thank you for watching bye bye